Hello, Joseph Persa here. Today I have a new video for you. We will unbox, build, and do a first print on new original Persa Mini. So let's start with opening the box. When you open it, on the top you have the most important part of the package, which is Haribo gummy bears. Follow the manual where to use them. Uh, also you have a flash drive, which contains the sample models and in first few batches it has the latest firmware and the printer will require to use it to update it to the latest one. I will show you how to do that. Uh, then we have a combo, a 3D printing handbook and assembly manual because the assembly is pretty quick. We just need few pages on the back and you uh, you can learn all about the printer in the handbook part. I advise you to use it. Then we have some stickers, traditional ones, and now we are getting to the parts. So spool holder you have to assemble yourself. This is the printed parts uh, and also the accessories for the spool holder. You have the accessories and some tools for the printer itself. And then two samples of filament. So now we will put these things aside and start unpacking the printer. First remove the cardboard box, first piece with a little bit of foam. Uh, don't discard it if you ever need to ship the printer somewhere. And we start to see the, the parts. First to remove is the Y-axis table with everything, with the, with the steel sheet. And we can get to another layer. So we will remove another cardboard piece. We are very proud of this box because it doesn't use almost any plastic. And this is the LCD of the printer. And now the main part, the Z axis, X axis, and the extruder. Okay, and there is one more thing in the box, and that is the power supply, which we remove with another piece, and we can take it out easily here. And of course, if you've ordered filament sensor upgrade, it will be in the box too. So I have the manual open and the first thing I will do is to remove the spring steel sheet to prevent damaging it uh, over the assembly. Now I will get the parts. I will prepare the fasteners, which are in the accessories bag. Yeah, here. And I'll take out the tools because I will need them in just short while. Okay, so next step is to uh, get the Z-axis up. We will have to do it manually now. So you just rotate the screw until it goes fully up. Okay, so this should be ready. And now I will get out the Allen key. And we will unscrew the electronics cover. Okay. Now we will be preparing the wiring for the LCD. So I will open the package, which contains the LCD model and the cable. So I have the cable and I will rotate it so I have good access to it. And now, according to the manual, we will simply push it in. Not having sausages instead of fingers helps. Good. The cable is here. And now we will hide the end here so it doesn't wiggle everywhere. Okay, now we will connect uh, the X and Z axis to the Y axis. Uh, there are two T-nuts in the slot of the extrusion here and we will be using the longest bolt from the fasteners back. So I'll get it ready. And we will move the bed all the way to the back and set the first nut at the beginning of the bed. What I will do to make it a little bit easier, I will use the power supply to prop up the base so I can see it easier. Now 
we take the longest bolt and put it here. I take the Allen key and now you will gently try to get to the nut and start screwing. And yes, the screw is engaged. So I will tighten it, not all the way, because we will be moving it in the T-slot. And now we will, uh, we will move the second nut all the way in. Don't worry, it goes all the way in. That is the perfect placement. And we will take the longest screw from the fasteners back and secure the second. And don't tighten it all the way because we will be moving the axis. So now we have the two main bolts secured, but the axis can still move. That is a good thing because we will be adding the third screw. Uh, there are two remaining and they are both the same, so no worries. And it will be here. So there's another T-nut, which we will position in a way so we can see it through the hole. Perfect. And just screw it in. Again, not all the way in. So now next step is to move the bed all the way to the front. I will rotate it so you can see it more. And we will push the, uh, the Z axis all the way to the back. Don't worry, there's no need to measure. There's a notch which gives you the exact position. Now we will take the Allen key and tighten all the screws. Fully. The last one is done too, and it makes pretty sturdy machine. Next step, according to the manual, is to eat some Haribo's. So I'll consult the manual for that. But we will move right away to the LCD. I will put the printer this way. Uh, this is the LCD, and we will use the last screw from the back. So the whole assembly is just four screws. And the Allen key. You place the bolt to the hole and you secure it to this printed part. The LCD has few points where it will uh, kind of want to stay in. So you can choose, uh, choose the preferred orientation and just secure it fully. You can always change that if you find out that the angle is not perfect for you. Now we will take out the LCD cable and I will do this from the other side so you can see it. And now we will connect the LCD like this. And now our goal is to put it into the extrusion. So it requires a little bit of hand scale, but what, what works for me is to bend it halfway and put it into the extrusion neatly. Be gentle with the LCD cable. If you break some of it, the LCD might be glitchy. So in the next steps, we will be connecting the Y-axis motor and the heated bed to the electronics. First step is to remove the rubber band from the uh, motor wires. It was there to prevent the cables from damaging during the assembly. It is not needed. So we will remove this and I will rotate the printer and show you more details on the camera. Now we will take the Y motor cable from the underside and wire it through this hole. Nice. And we will connect it right here. And now we will take the heat bed power connector, which goes just around here. And heat bed thermistor, which goes right next to it. Make sure the cables are properly seated and not too much wiggly. And we will be having the cable coming out of here so we can already start to put it this way. And we are ready for the next step. And now if you've bought the filament sensor, 
Now is the time to connect it. So we will take it out. And the filament sensor goes in here. Good. And now we will connect the filament sensor to the PTFE2. Uh, it is important to look into this slit so it is all the way in, otherwise it will just fall out. So this part is a little bit tricky. Uh, we need to have the electronics cover, the, the screw top and the allen key. And we will start by preparing the, the cables a bit so it, they are not in the way. <coughs> so the filament sensor, the, the unshielded uh, cable should stay in. It will be placed roughly here. The X axis and extruder will be here and the heat bed will go roughly like this. We will take the top cover and there are two slits which holds this side and now the tricky part is to get everything to the correct position and then we will start putting the pieces into the cover which will hold everything securely. Okay, so the filament sensor is in. This is roughly in the right place too. And this goes here. And this was pretty smooth. And now we will secure it by the screw here. So we are now pretty much done with the printer assembly. What is remaining is the spool holder. We won't cover the building in this video, but everything is in the manual. And I will just use the one which is conveniently placed here and we can continue. So now just few simple things remain and we will start by unpicking the power supply and connecting it to the printer. The, the correct uh, cable comes with, uh, with your box. And there is one trick when you are connecting the power supply to the printer itself. When you want to unplug it, there is a, a special grip to it. Oh my god. Okay. So you just connect it simply like this. But if you want to remove it, you have to pull the secure part. The next step is to remove the screen protector from the LCD. So there is a tab, you just pull on it gently and remove the screen protector. Good. And the last step is to put on the steel sheet. There are two pins in the back which will help you align it. And congratulations, now we are done with assembling of the original Prusa Mini.